Good morning, children. I'm so glad to see you this morning. Today, the story that I'm going to tell you is how the church tells time. But before we do that, I think we should take a minute and think where we are. I'm in our special room and you are in your special place in your home. And when we're in our special place, we walk more quietly and slowly and we talk more quietly because if somebody is trying to pray and we get real loud, then that would disturb their time with God. And we really don't want to do that. Before I start the story, I know we love to sing and I wish we could sing just a lot of songs, but things are a little different right now. And so before I tell you the story, let's all sing the song that comes before the story. And I know you know what it is. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Sometimes it's really hard to tell time. There's a lot of ways to tell time. And some people say that time is in a line with a beginning and a middle and an end. Or maybe this is the beginning and this is the end, or this is the end and this is the beginning. It's hard to tell. But if we take the ending that was the beginning and the beginning that was the end and tie it in a knot, then the beginning is the end and the end is the beginning. And that is how the church tells time. This is a church year puzzle. And let's see if we could put it together to see how the church tells time. There are three special Sundays in the church year. And the first one is Christmas, and that's about here. And the second one is Easter, which is about here. And the third one is, oh, that's hot. That's Pentecost. And we have purple Sundays. And we have white Sundays. And we have green Sundays. So let's put this puzzle together and tell time, tell the church year time. Our special Sundays begin with Christmas about here and then we have Easter, which is about here, and Pentecost is about right there. Christmas 
is a very special Sunday that we celebrate the birth of Jesus and the time that God became a person. And Christmas is so special to us that it takes us four Sundays to get ready for it. And purple is the color for getting ready. And here are four purple Sundays. I wonder what we should do with them. Those four purple Sundays are Advent. And Advent is the, the beginning of the church year. And it's also the ending of the church year. And so we could put these four purple Sundays right next to Christmas. One, right in front of Christmas. Two, three, four. Our next special day is Easter. And that is the time of year when we celebrate that Jesus died and yet he is with us. And Easter is so special that it takes six Sundays to get ready for Easter. And since purple is the color for getting ready, let's put our six purple Sundays right here in front of Easter. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now Easter, is very special and we are so happy that Jesus is with us and alive that we celebrate six Sundays after Easter and the color of Easter is white so we can put our six white Sundays right here after Easter one Two, three, four, five, six, and right up to Pentecost. Pentecost is the special Sunday that we celebrate when God gave the church the Holy Spirit so that the church could do and say the wonderful, special things that Jesus did. And all of the space between Pentecost and Christmas are green Sundays. these green Sundays connect Pentecost and Christmas. Now we have nine green Sundays left and these Sundays connect Christmas to Easter. only 
have nine. Now let's put some names on these so that it helps us remember. We have Christmas and that is the time when we celebrate when Jesus was born and God became a person. And Advent is the time we use to get ready for Christmas. And we have Easter. And Easter is the time that we celebrate when God, Jesus died, and yet he is still alive with us. And we have Lent. Lent is the time that we use to get ready for Easter. And the time between Lent and Advent is called Epiphany. Epiphany is the time when the world talks about Jesus. And we have Pentecost. Pentecost is the time that we celebrate when God gave us the Holy Spirit so that the church could do and say the wonderful things that Jesus did. We've got some pointers here that will help us focus on our special days. There's Easter. And here is Christmas. And there is Pentecost. And so there is our church year calendar. And you can see with our pointers that every, that these special days are labeled and it tells us where we are in the church year. And you remember that we have a special calendar, this big round circle behind me. And we are nearly at Advent. We are the week before Advent starts. And this keeps us knowing where we are in the church year. Children, before we close, Let's just pray together. I'm going to reach my hands out to you. And if you're sitting with someone, hold that person's hand. And let's just pray together. Bow your head. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this coming Advent season. Help us to remember how important this season is to us, the birth of Jesus. Let us always keep that in our hearts as we begin to celebrate this wonderful time of year. Help us to be good people. Help us to be aware of the needs of people around us. We love you, Jesus. Amen. See you next week.